Welcome back. Now, okay, welcome back. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? Do you have any question how we created the constructor? Just we take public keyword and name of the class, then parentheses yeah. and curly braces. Okay? Okay. What we did earlier, we used to declare the variable and define the variable here. We set the value also here. But when we are using constructor, when we are creating constructor method for class digital device, we are not defining the value here. We are not setting the value here. We initialize the value or set the value right here for name variable inside the constructor, okay? Then, now you see, like the earlier, we can access everything the same way. Still, we don't have the solution yet. We cannot solve the problem. Still, different reference variable getting the same information, same data, right? But we want separate data. In that case, what we have to do, this is one kind of a constructor that we call without parameter. Constructor without parameter. Parameter meaning we put something inside the method, inside the parenthesis. Now, look, I'm going to provide parameter, how I provide parameter. I just say uh, string name and another parameter is integer and this is also price in USD, okay? We have two parameters now. One is string name, another one is integer price in USD. Now, this is called variable, okay? Mm -hmm. And what kind of variable? String. This is String. variable, what kind of variable? Integer. Integer. And this is also, see, string variable, integer, price in USD. It looks very similar, but still they are different. How they are different? Do you remember I talk about scope? Scope? This is inside class, you see? This is inside class scope, right? Mm -hmm. The string name is inside class scope, but these are inside method scope. Do you understand the difference? One is in Rudy's apartment. Another one is inside Ignatius. Uh, Ignatius's apartment. Ignatius Palace. One is inside, <laughs> inside mm -hmm. class, okay? And one is inside method. Oh, okay. okay. It look like same, but they are different in their position. Okay. 
though you can say yes ignatius also inside united states meaning it is also inside class you see this is class scope and class scope ends at the end right here so in one sense yes this is also inside class scope however it is inside michigan state definitely inside usa but inside michigan state do you understand does it make sense without yeah, the yeah. legal without the legal papers joke yes yes <laughs> <laughs> okay and okay, now now it's a very interesting okay very interesting now when you are saying parameter again you are not setting value here anymore how let's try to understand that concept really complicated concept actually it might take a couple of days to understand that concept okay how now let me say i'm saying price in usd this is price in the usd okay uh, this name is this name okay and i'm saying name equal to name very confusing i know it might take couple of days to understand the concept but i sense your understanding but still there is confusion and price in usd equal to price in usd ah now ignatius is maybe thinking how i can understand which name is here this name this name or this name and which name is here this name or this name so it's really confusing because all are name this is also variable this is also variable this is also variable this is also variable we are saying this variable equal to this variable this price usd equal to this price usd now how i can understand which one is class level name and which one is method level name variable is there any way to differentiate color yes yes there is the only thing i can see the difference the other one end with a semicolon the one on the right side the other one down yeah 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 you are right you are right you are right but how you will know how you will know this name which one this one or this one both are name how do you will differentiate this price usd is this one or this one meaning which one is class scope we call class variable this is class variable but these are method variable because it is inside the method method variable so which one is class variable which one is method variable we have to find it's hmm. in java not in java in any programming language there is a way to find it out 
when you say this keyword, then dot, you see, it's referring to this one, right? Okay. Now you understand, it's not referring to this name. So now you know this name is this name. And this name is, you see, when I click here, it's referring to this one. So this is method variable name and this is method. And if you just say this method, you see, it's also now referring this one, okay? But always remember, if you say this one is this, then you have to say here, this one is class variable. Now you understand this keyword dot name is class level variable and simply name is method level variable. Is it clear? So the this can be, uh, the this will be a uh, constant or default. This will be referring to the class level variable. And without this will be method level variable that we call parameter. This is a parameter, another this one is parameter. This is not a parameter. This is variable. Okay, whatever we put inside method, these are parameter, remember. These are parameter. But this is not parameter. Though both are variable, this is also variable. It can be varied. You can name it, maybe you can say full name, okay? Full name, you can say total price. You can say it. When you say it, you don't need this keyword because now it is different. You can say different, but best practice is not to make it different name and use the this keyword to differentiate between class level variable and method level variable that we call parameter. Okay. Now why we are doing it? To solve a problem. And the problem is whatever we are accessing the data, we are accessing same data with two different reference variable, TV1 and TV2. In real world, it will not work if we use without constructor. We cannot print different name, but if, different uh, price. Babu, yeah. I have a question. Um, I don't know if this works with uh, Java. Uh, to differentiate the uh, reference variable, uh, from TB1 and then TB2, why can we use TB slash 2? Can we do sorry. that? Sorry? Uh, instead of uh, using the constructor, in order for us to um, get the good result, we can differentiate the reference variable from TB1 and 2 using um, like the TB slash 2. Can we do that? No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No, then uh, it will throw an error. Uh, so we still so have to, to use solve the problem. Error. Only we have one concept, one way that is creating constructor to 
to that class. Now you see, it's now throwing an error here. Okay, how we can now, uh, we didn't put any value here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but we said initial value, but now we are not doing it. We are not setting initial value here anymore. Okay, X means cross. Now, how we can do it? Look how we do it. We know the first variable is name. Okay, this is name. And for name, we are putting here Ignatius. And not Ignatius, actually, it is device. So I say Samsung TV device name. And price is 2000, a big TV. Now you see the error mark gone. And this is Sony TV. And the price is more or less. Okay. Now look very carefully. The problem we solve is you see, this is Samsung TV, price is two thousand. This is Sony TV and price is different. The problem is solved. Now, how we did it to do it, we have to Create, create, constructor with the same name with class. Now look very carefully. Method name is always smaller cap, right? You see, start with D, smaller, but here, D, oh, capital. It's, okay. Capital, because it will be the same name as the class, and class is always capital. So this method and this method totally different, you see? Totally different. This is small, this is capital. Is it clear? I know you understand it, but still you have the confusion. Mm. I guess, you know, uh, with time we'll, we'll, we'll get it, but, uh, you know, so far, you know, you just showed the difference, you know, making sense now. You know, class start with capital and the other one start with small letter. So, Constructor is special method. Yeah. And it is used to initialize objects. No. What does it really mean when we create object? It is invoked. You see? Mm -hmm. We create object and automatically the methods are being called. The constructor is being called. 
constructor is working, you didn't need to call the constructor. What does it mean is you are not calling this constructor, digital device method. You are not calling this one. It is automatically being called. You see, mm -hmm. this method, you have to call it. You see, you have to call it. You have to call it. But you are not calling this constructor method. You are not calling it. When you create this object, it is automatically being active. It's working automatically. It's confusing, I know. But you still have to run it. Yeah. Yes, you have to run it. Okay? But you are not calling the method. Digital device. Is there any method digital device? You are not calling it. Method, the definition of method is method is block of code. That only execute, that only run, that only work when it is called by name. You have to call it by name. You are not calling this method by name. Nowhere. You are not calling it. Digital device is a method. You are not calling digital device method here. Are you calling it? Nowhere. So method usually, usually doesn't work if you don't call the methods by name. But you are not calling digital device constructor method here anywhere. It's working spontaneously whenever you create the new object. Okay. Have you got the point? Yeah, making sense. Mr. Yeah. Rudy? Mr. Rudy? Mm. A little bit. Um, I can follow a little bit, but I don't know if I'm uh, correct. Maybe um in few more um few more example maybe yes you will understand hundred percent when only you practice five times mm -hmm. to get this we call it concept Sorry. you have to practice three to five times okay now. Take a one minute break. I just want to draw a picture. Okay. I know I'm not a good artist, but is this Babu, I love Babu, is this part of automation? Yeah, to understand automation, you have to understand Java program up to object oriented programming. Uh, meaning you have to understand more, three more concepts. Okay. Yeah. One is you already understand inheritance, right? Another one is encapsulation. And the other one is Poly uh, abstraction, abstraction and polymorphism. I didn't, I didn't hear the two, the, the, the second and third. Yeah. Now, I just draw three lines. Another three lines. Another three lines. This is class, okay? Can you guess what is the blueprints for for TV, for house, for um, human being? 
Can you guess? This is class. You know, that was, you say, what can you create out of class? Yes, we can create object, right? Object, yes. What object we can create from this blueprint? Say, for example, it has, I said, four lights. It has also color. It has also price. Mm. It has four wheels. Now you know a little. Uh, what Anten uh, antenna? <laughs> antenna. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, TV. <laughs> ah. TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It can start and it has also uh, method and it can also stop. Okay. It can also run. Run. Mm -hmm. So these are methods, right? These are properties. Now, what do you think? What I can make it? And the color is black, okay. Now, let me create object. It's interesting. Okay. And we have here something like that. Okay. Now Ignatius will say, oh, I got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, four wheel drive. How do you know? <laughs> Tesla. This is Tesla. Tesla, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a car. It's a car? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you know it's a car, okay? There is light, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. This car look like car. Oh, yeah. Four wheels, four wheels. Like a wagon. And it's a color, and it has price, and price is forty uh, k. Okay, forty k US dollar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So now you know which one is object. This one. Is this one object? Yes. Yes. Or mm. this one object. Oh, that's the object. This one is object, right? Object. Yeah, yeah. created yes. from, uh, from What is class. this? What is this? This is class. Class. Blueprints. Blueprints, Blueprints. Blueprints. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is object. Now it's 4K. This blueprint may be just 1K maybe. Or maybe less. Just less, design. Yes. Maybe $300 gave for a designer $300 and he will just design it. But end product is very expensive. And you can put it anywhere, maybe on your pocket, on your money bag, inside a book. But this one you cannot put inside a pocket, put in inside the a money home. bag. You need a garage now, right? Garage, yeah. You need mm -hmm. physical location. So this is just logical 
Okay, only logic are there, logical. Mm -hmm. This yeah. one is physical with logic and physic. Phys it is physical, logical yeah, logic. and physical. also physical. Physical, yeah. that is why uh, it, it needs garage. The space, yeah. You need more space. The same way when you create object, when you create object uh, in our project, you need also physical, it since it, yeah, it, it need more space on your computer. It, it takes space in your memory of your computer, okay? So it's a interview question. Does class takes uh, space on your computer? Answer yes. will be no, no. Oh, because it's only class, logic. Yeah, only logic. It does not take any space. You see, you are writing a lot of things, a lot of things, but it's not taking any space on your computer memory until or unless you create object, okay? Mm -hmm. Till here, it's not taking any space in your computer memory. Whenever you creating object, now it's taking space on your computer because this object has both physical and logical entity. Mm -hmm. Now, question is, what do you understand by physical and logical entity wow. in Java program? Now you have to explain. Babana. Yeah, physical, by physical entity, we understand when we create object, the object take space in our computer memory, okay? Mm -hmm. Because when we create an product in reality, it takes a lot of space. The same way when we create object, it's taking a lot of space on our computer memory. In real world, when we are creating class, meaning just uh, creating a blueprints or design, it does not take space. We can keep it anywhere. But when we create the object, the end product, it does have both logic and physic. Physic means physical existence. And we need to, we need space. Say for example, when we are drawing a car on a paper, it is on paper, it is not taking any space. But when we made a car from the drawing, from the blueprint, we need a garage, okay? We need a garage. The same way, you can give this example. And the interviewer will be very, very happy. Oh my God, you know, very high level. You have high level understanding. Okay. And if he or she says, uh, could you please explain? Now you can say, can I draw a picture? Okay. Can I draw a picture to explain it? And she will say, yes, please. Just draw this. Okay. And say, this is, this is plus. And it has logic. It has four wheels. This has uh, four uh, lights. It has um, color, etc., etc. And now color is blue. So for example, now you can draw it just very quickly, okay? Okay, this is a blue car, okay.
is a blue car. Okay. Now it needs a garage. The car needs a garage because mm -hmm. it does have physical existence now. It doesn't have physical existence. The same way in computer programming, whenever we create object for a plus, it does have physical existence. So it needs space in our computer memory. Yeah. Now, 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 what you can do together, you can now create a car class. Okay, create a car class, and for car class, just declare variable, then create constructor for the car class, take two parameter, okay, apply it, then create object, and try to print different data using the reference, two reference variable. Can you do it for me? You have 30 minutes. You can work together. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Can you hey, do it? Can you 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 do Now it is 9.20. So we are coming back at 9.50. So this is assignment <laughs> for you. Okay. And let me let us take five minutes break, then join again. And you together discuss and work on it. Create a car class, and for the car class, take two variables, uh, properties, attributes. It can be name, it can be price, it can be uh, make year, whatever. It can be color also, and create a constructor, okay? Do it, then create object, then access all the properties, whatever you have. Can you do it? You can, I believe. Okay. Mm, okay. So take five minutes break, then come back and then work together. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you.